Amen. So that's how my schedule goes. And then on the 26th of May, I fly back home. And the 26th, I fly over to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Because on the 27th, I'm ministering in Albuquerque for a special event, Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm ministering in Albuquerque for a special event called Honoring the First Nations. Honoring the, and you know me, I love the First Nations. I love the Second Nations. I love the Third Nations. I love all nations. I'm a man of the nations, amen. But right when I fly back home from Korea, in fact, I, I shortened the trip by one day. And I'm going over to Albuquerque, New Mexico to minister at a special event called Honoring the First Nations. From there, I come back home. Then we go over to Chicago. Come on, somebody. Who is from the Chicago land region area? Going to go over to Chicago where we do three days of tent revivals. And it kicks off our June boom month of harvest, of miracles, and of Route 66 revival. So praise God, so exciting. Jesus, to God be the glory. So the whole month of June, we're gonna be doing tent revivals, outdoor meetings, evangelism. The mantles of Billy Graham are falling upon this generation for America, for all of America shall be saved. We're gonna go down from Chicago to St. Louis. Oh my goodness, guys, let me tell you. Can I just brag on God? Can I just boast in the Lord? Because the connections God has given us in these cities with churches and ministries, pastors, men and women of God, I see Apostle Barbara, uh, I see Apostle Robert here. What God's doing is phenomenal. And America's ripe and ready for the harvest. And so I will be in Chicago June 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Right after that, we're going down to St. Louis. We have an incredible tent set up in St. Louis. Right after that, we go over to Kansas City. Come on, somebody, just today, to say today, just today, we got the confirmation of our tent and of our location in Kansas City. Come on, somebody. And then after that, we go over to Tulsa. After that, we go on over to Amarillo, then Flagstaff, then Los Angeles. Uh, glory to God. Albuquerque, excuse me, Albuquerque as well. We have uh, an amphitheater booked out in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So God is doing some major things. And although the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will raise up a standard against him. And although there is an invasion in the United States, and although there is so much nonsense happening in this country, who knows that America's ripe and ready for glory, for the greater glory, for the third great awakening? We are in a season of the third great awakening. Amen. So I'm excited for all that God has us doing. So I want you to check out Route66Revival.us. Route66Revival.us. Because this big endeavor uh, needs your prayers. We need your prayers, your love, your partnership. This is going to be a phenomenal, life-changing time. Amen. Uh, when am I coming down to Utah? Honestly. I've never ministered in Utah. And that's so close to me. I've never ministered in Utah. Do you come down to San, San Jose, California? And interestingly, I, I rarely minister in NorCal. I don't know why. I'm, I've only ministered once or twice in NorCal. Uh, but NorCal needs it. Amen. And so I would love to come to San Jose, San Fran area. In Jesus' name and even in Utah. Praise God. Well, lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for all that you are doing. And I thank you, Holy Ghost, for the Spirit of God, your Spirit that is moving. For the Bible says in the book of Genesis that the Spirit of God hovers over the waters. And as you're hovering over the waters, God, I ask you that you begin to breathe. You begin to blow. That you would release a second wind, fresh wind, bang, 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 fire upon your people. So thank you that the eyes of the Lord search to and fro all across the earth, looking for a heart that truly belongs to him. And Lord, here we say, here I am, send me. We say, here we are, fill us with the power and the glory of God. And all of God's people say, amen and amen. Well, friends, today I want to talk about living from the realm of the overflow, living from the realm of the overflow. I want to say overflow. And even as I jumped on today, I was asking the Lord God, what do you want me to talk about? 
Do you want me to talk about the opening of doors? Because let me tell you, many doors are opening right now. So many unusual doors are opening right now. But it's because we're in the realm of overflow. And who knows that when it's your season, I want to talk to you. Because it is always your season. Amen. It's always your season. But when you step into your season, your moment, it is like the gates and the windows of heaven. The ancient doors of heaven just begin to open up because the king of glory steps in the room and there is an unstoppable momentum, an unstoppable force that begins to take place. No witch, no devil, no warlock, no Jezzy, Wezzy, Bezzy can't stop it. But God begins to fling wide the doors. Amen. It's effortless. You don't need to force it. You don't need to be a bad used car salesman to try to sell your product or sell your fruit. You just bear fruit. And the fruit speaks for itself. Amen. But we're living in a day of, I believe, overflow. And I believe the Lord wants to destroy the spirit of a lack. God is going to destroy the spirit of a lack from our lives. Amen. And as I was praying, I said, God, what do you want me to talk about today? What, what word do you want me to minister prophetically to your people today? And I believe the Lord said, talk about living from the realm of overflow. I want to say overflow. So let's go into some verses here. Amen. Because as you know, I love to go into the word of God. Amen. So let's go here. <clears throat> Psalm 23. Hallelujah. Verse 5. And I did minister this yesterday briefly at our 7M Glory Equip, my group mentorship. If you don't know, I have an online group mentorship. I love all of you. Mwah. I see many of you here. But a group mentorship is filled with amazing men and women of God, revivalists, people that are serious about the Lord, about going to the next level. So I do have an online group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip. I would love to mentor you. I would love to walk with you, pour into you, <clears throat> and join this family. Amen. Join this family. Join this group, this community. Truly, these people are so, uh, you know, you know, 7M Group, they're world changers. So uh, I want you to join us and consider uh, being mentored by me and being a part of this group and this community. Amen. But here, our key verse, Psalm 23, verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. Amen. This head. This fluffy head. You anoint this fluffy head with oil. And my cup overflows. I want to say overflow. Today, I want to minister to you about living from the realm of overflow. Because you and I were meant to live in the realm of overflow. But here's the thing. Just like a boat. I want you to hear this. Just like when a boat begins to dock off or begins to speed up. There's ripple effects. I want you to say ripple. There's ripple effects. And that is the overflow. And some people are bearing the fruit or the ripple effects of consequences. Some people are bearing the fruit, the ripple effects of consequences. Stupid warfare, unnecessary warfare, the flesh, pride and ego and arrogance. However, when you begin to wake the water or wake the water, when you begin to flow, ruskata, there is a ripple effect of the glory of God and good things continue to come back into your bosom. Now, this is not karma. This is kingdom. This is the principle of sowing and reaping. God will not be mocked that whatever man soweth, he shall also reapeth. And so I believe we're living in a season right now where God wants us to live from the realm of overflow, where we don't have to worry. We don't have to stress. We don't have to, uh, you know, beg God for a blessing, for a breakthrough. But because you've been faithful, because you've prayed, because you've sowed in tears, because you gave sacrificially, there is a realm of overflow and abundance that's coming back to you. Of course, there's another verse in Ecclesiastes that says, cast your bread upon the waters and in due time, it shall return to you. Are you ready for the returning of the Lord? Are you ready for the returning of the blessings of God? Are you ready for good news, good reports to begin to return to you in the mighty name of Jesus? If you're ready for that returning, I want to say amen. But you see here in Psalm 23 verse five, it says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Amen. Just in this one verse, there are five blessings. Some say blessings. There are five blessings listed out in this one verse. 
you prepare a table before me. So that's provision. Number two, in the presence of my enemies, that is redemption and vindication. You anoint my head with oil. The anointing stands for the realm of God, stands for the endowment, the power, the enactment of Jesus, the presence of the Holy Ghost. My head, someone say head, that stands for leadership, that stands for elevation and promotion. And my cup overflows. That's five blessings lifted out, listed out in this one verse. My cup overflows, which means abundance, which means that there is easy grace, ease, there's a grace, there's an ease, there's a move, there's, there's a shock, there's, there's a glory, there is the move of God, the manifestation of the power and the glory of God, amen? So the overflowing, so I want to say overflow. I believe you and I, we're meant to live from the realm of overflow. Not only do we live in that realm by faith, but we live from that realm. Someone say amen. If you receive it today, give me some hearts and likes. Because I believe God wants to shock you and surprise you. Hear me now. Before 2023 started and before we hit the year of 5783, I began to prophesy to the word of the Lord. The Lord gave me the word Psalm 23 for this year and said it will be a Psalm 23 year for 2023. And if you've been following me, you know that I've dated it. And I've probably uh, been one of the first public outspoken prophetic voices talking about Psalm 23 for this year, 2023. If you know that to be true, say amen. If you've been following me, you know that, and I've dated it. I've been talking about that since last August, September. That is a Psalm 23 year for 2023. I want to say amen. So in this year, there still is a realm of Psalm 23. In this year, there still is a realm of Psalm 23 where God has given us divine direction. God is leading us through. He is wading us through the waters. He's bringing us through the wilderness, through the valley of the shadow of death. Have you been on a journey? Have you been on an unusual journey with the Lord? Amen. But the Lord, my hair is looking crazy, but the Lord has been leading us through a journey and he's bringing us into a place of promise, of abundance, a land of milk and honey. And I believe we're stepping into that realm. But you see this, pro uh, this prophecy and this promise it begins to talk about today. I want to say today. Because you and I were meant to live from the realm of overflow. Amen. Whatever you're filled with will eventually overflow. Can I say that again? Whatever you are filled with will eventually overflow. Can I talk to you today? Because many people are filled with envy, sin, and malice. So whatever you're filled with, you will begin to overflow. From your belly will flow rivers of living water. So whatever you're filled with, so the key question is, what are you filled with? The key question is, what are you being filled with? Whatever you're filled with, you'll begin to overflow it. Amen. And in this season, God doesn't just want to fill us with the power and the glory and the anointing of Jesus, but he wants us to be in the realm of overflow. If you're with me today, I want to say hallelujah. Because there's a realm of overflow, of blessing, of promise, of abundance, of the grace, the glory of God, open doors, opportunities, divine connections, divine appointments. There is a realm of overflow that God is bringing into your life. Amen. Now that word overflow, you anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. That word overflow in the Hebrew is revaya. I want to say revaya. And that word overflow in the Hebrew is revaya. And I want to talk to you about what revaya means. Because what Revaya means, amen. What Revaya means here, it means to be saturated. It means like a sponge. You're so soaked in a bucket of oil, so soaked in a bucket of water that you become saturated. So to be overflowing means to be saturated. It also means to be satisfied. It also means to runneth over, come on. And it means to be wealthy. I want you to declare this. I am rich and wealthy. In Jesus' name. God wants us to live in the realm of abundance. But too many people live from the realm of lack. And I want to talk to you about this. Listen, I was not born with a silver spoon. I was not born into wealth. I was not born into a rich, prosperous family. However, the Lord, fire of God, the Lord uh, began to teach me about the realm and revelation of abundance and how to live from the realm of overflow. Because whatever you have, 
God will give you more. I'm going to say that again. Whatever you have, God will give you more. Whatever you are a good steward of, God will add unto you. Matthew 6.33. Uh, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And he will add unto you all these things. So there's the realm of addition. And then there's the realm of multiplication. In Arizona on Thursday, or Friday, excuse me, I began to talk about the realm of quantum glory. Because there is a quantum leap in the spirit. Because there is a quantum leap, a sudden uh, growth spurt that takes place in your life where it's no longer one-to-one -one addition, but it's exponential multiplication. Are you ready to step into the realm of quantum glory and quantum leap? If you're ready, I want you to say amen. But you see, overflow, it stands for the realm of abundance. And it stands for the realm in which Jesus paid for. And you and I were meant to live from that realm, to be saturated, to be running over. God's going to bless you so great, so big, that you cannot contain it. Your vats are going to be overflowing. Your need baskets are going to be overflowing. That's the, the promise of the blessings of obedience, according to Deuteronomy 28. That your baskets will overflow, your bank accounts will overflow, your closets, your need baskets, your, your wine, your, your wine houses, your storehouses, your shilohs, everything will overflow in your life with the goodness of God, with the glory of God, with the joy of the Lord. So let's go deeper. Whatever you're filled with, you will overflow in. Whatever you have, you will begin to overflow in. Whatever you have. So let me ask you, what do you have? What are you carrying? Whatever you have, whatever you walk in, you will begin to overflow in that. And the thing is, many people, are manifesting their flesh, their soul, their worry, their fear, their own lack, more than the abundant realm of Jesus Christ. But today, we want to break off the spirit of lack from your life. We want to break off the spirit of unbelief from your life so that you will step into the realm of overflow. Somebody say hallelujah. You see, the Bible says he anoints my head with oil and my cup runs over. Are you ready for so much breakthrough, blessing, glory, miracles to begin to overflow in your life? Come on, somebody. Now, listen, I want to testify. Can I testify? Because I came back home from Arizona on Sunday and administered at my church Sunday. Wonderful, beautiful service. And Sunday evening, the Lord blessed me with a new car. Okay. Sunday evening. And I just want to testify and brag on the Lord because when you are good to him, he will be good to you. And when you love the Lord, he will love you back abundantly like never before. But let me, let me tell you, I want to testify because I had two cars, Cadillac Escalade and I had an Audi. Okay. Beautiful cars. And the Escalade was used for a business purpose. Okay. Uh, I rented it out in Turo in Hawaii and, uh, it was, it was doing all right, but I just felt like it was the end of a season. And uh, the Escalade, of course, is a big SUV, beautiful, luxurious SUV car. But the Escalade will continue to depreciate in value, especially today. Everybody wants to be in EV electric vehicles. And, you know, the gas prices are soaring. And, of course, Biden and all the evil globalists are trying to destroy the production of oil and weaken this country. But anyways, but the Escalade still had a note of about $56,000. Okay. And my Audi still had about, I think about 12 K and, uh, I needed to get rid of this Escalade. Okay. I needed to get rid of this Escalade and, and my Audi had some equity so I can make some money from the Audi if I sold it or if I traded it in. So here I got these two cars and the Escalade, it's going down, down, down and it's depreciating and I need to get rid of it. So I had a prayer request. I said, God, I need to get rid of it, but all of the companies that I'm trying to sell the Escalade to are trying to buy it for dirt cheap, all right? They don't want to spend 56K, just even, even, even. They don't want to buy uh, my Escalade for 56K. They're trying to offer me 45, 41, which means I will go into even more debt. But I say, God, this is not okay. So guess what? I took it to the dealership. We stood our ground, and they took both of our cars, and they, in return, gave me a brand new car. Of course, it's a lease. 
gave me a brand new car. Amen. Someone say wisdom. They gave me a brand new car. They took off $70,000 in debt. Come on, somebody. Took off 70 k if for two car loan debt. I did not put down a down payment. I did not put down a deposit. I did not pay an extra cent or an extra dollar. And it gave me a brand new car lease. Amen. 70,000 of debt washed, wiped away just like that. In Jesus' name. Someone say favor. And listen, that is the realm of overflow. When you're walking with God, God will begin to answer your prayers. When you're walking with Jesus, the Lord will begin to answer your prayers, give you suddenlies, give you blessings, winks from heaven. God will begin to bless you in the way that you need. And of course, honestly, there's no need for me to buy a car or take out another loan. That's the thing. I don't want to take out another loan, okay? And at this point, I don't want to buy a car cash. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather keep the cash and save it and invest it for a rainy day instead of putting it down on a depreciating car value when I'm traveling so much and I could barely even drive the car anyways. So God will give you wisdom and favor in the most unusual of places. Just like that, 70K of debt washed away. Can you give God some praise? Can you give the Lord some hearts and likes? Because I believe the Lord's going to give you a wis some wisdom. And even according to the word of God, the Bible says that whenever you are in temptation, okay, and not just temptation to sin, but temptation to make a wrong move. Are you hearing me? A lot of people think temptation is temptation to sin. It's not just temptation to sin. It's temptation to make a stupid decision, to make a bad move, to make a wrong choice which isn't necessarily a sin, but it's just a bad move. And the Lord will give you wisdom to know what to do. And boom, $70,000 of debt wiped away. No, and guess what? Of course, the Fed, the FDIC, they're going to continue increasing uh, the interest rates, the loan rates. Of course, America is crashing right now. The U.S. dollar is crashing right now. And there's just so much detrimental, destructive nonsense going on in our country. Really, it's to destroy America and it's to release the spirit of communism upon the earth. Amen. However, God will give you a way out with the spirit of wisdom. And 70K of debt was just washed away like that. And you know what? I don't, I don't need to pay the banks no more. Amen. I don't need to pay the banks no more. The interest rates that continue to increase and hike, I don't need to add more. Come on, God will bless you and answer the desires of your heart. He will give you the desires of your heart. So when you live from the realm of overflow, there's an ease and there's a grace. I feel the glory. Prophet Zivana just wrote 70K went bye-bye. I want to say bye-bye. This is a scene of death cancellation. Even at Open Heaven's World at my church, I've been preaching and ministering on the Jubilee anointing because this is a season of debts being canceled. Amen. Come on, somebody. This is a season of debts being canceled. And this is a season where God's going to give you supernatural debt cancellation. He's going to wipe and wash away different uh, uh, dependents, different contracts. Bang, bang. There's going to be a fresh start and a new start and a new beginning for you in Jesus' name. If you're with me today, say amen. And guess what? Now I got a new car. Glory to God. And it's fast. It's brand new. It's the first time I'm driving a brand spanking new car. That new car smell will be around for at least another year. But God is good. So in these days, my friends, hear me now. We need to be able to move and maneuver. And we need to be able to be agile. Because God's moving you suddenly. God is sudden, suddenly moving you. And things are going to shift and change so quickly. That we cannot be tied into the wrong thing. We cannot be bound by contract to the wrong thing. We cannot be aligned to the wrong prophets, to false prophets. We must be aligned to exactly what God wants and has for us. And that's why all of you young people, all right, if you're young, you don't have that many bills. You're not married yet. You don't have that many responsibilities and expectations. Live your life. Go out on the mission field. Make mistakes. Go big for Jesus. Be adventurous. Come on, step out of the boat. When you don't have that many responsibilities, you don't have children, you're not married, etc. You don't have that many bills, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In Jesus' name, someone say overflow. God wants you to be so saturated 
living from the realm of overflow. Amen. Because you and I were meant to not be in lack. God is breaking off the spirit of lack. I want to read one more verse for you here today. Amen. If you're with me today, say amen. Of course, here the Bible says, give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. Come on, it will fall into your bosom, into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. So there's a running over anointing. And whenever you are in the glory, it will always overflow or run over. It will spill off. It will spill out. And many people are living from burnout. Many people are living from the realm of E or empty rather than full to overflow. Let me ask you, are you burnt out? Are you drained? Are you living from empty? Are you living from lack? And I know once again, many of you are watching from Africa or different countries. Maybe your upbringing, uh, your background, it's, it's not as blessed as a blessed nation of America or Sweden or Europe or different places, first world nations. But you see, God wants to break the spirit of lack. And the Lord wants us to have faith for the realm of overflow because you and I, we are meant to live from the realm of overflow. Well, you don't have to worry anymore. You don't have to stress. You don't have to fake it to make it. You don't have to beg and plead for God. You don't need to worry. You don't need to, come on somebody, but you have his favor and he is with you. And the eyes of God are looking upon you, his child, his daughter, his son, and the eyes of God are looking upon you. And the Lord wants to move upon those who truly believe in him. Have you been crying out? Do you need a breakthrough? Do you need the power of God? Do you need Jesus to show up and show off in your life? If you're with me today, I want to say amen. There's a realm of overflow, my friends. And many of us were living from lack. Okay, there's three realms right now. Number one, where you are living from lack. Or number two, you are living from paycheck to paycheck or eat just enough to get by. Just enough to get by. Or number three, you are living in the realm of El Shaddai, the God of more than enough, the God of abundance, for he is the God of more than enough. Are you hearing me today? And I'm not just talking about financially. I'm talking about emotionally. I'm talking about spiritually. Are you living from spiritual emptiness, from spiritual dryness, from lack? Or are you living from the realm of overflow with your intimacy with Jesus. You've prayed for an hour. You've prayed for two hours. You've been in the secret place with Jesus. And now you're overflowing. It's so easy for you to move and minister. Uh, the oil of God, the favor of God is just oozing out of you. And miracles are taking like bam, 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 bam. Pah! It's so easy. It's so effortless. Hallelujah. And the Lord wants you and I to be so saturated in the secret place. Then when we come out in public, go to work, go to a, a ministry service, we go out into the world, that we are overflowing in the glory of God. That boom, miracles happen. Boom, things begin to happen. You don't even need to pray for 10 minutes for a demon to get casted out. But instantly, that generational curse, instantly, that generational lineage of demons that's been passed down, that stronghold is instantly broken because you've been in the secret place. Because you've sought his face. Because you seek his face. Amen. I feel the glory of God. When you're so saturated in the Lord, you will begin to overflow and it will be effortless. It will be easy. It will be, it will be fun, in fact. Kind of take it a little bit deeper. All right. A lot of people do not have fun. Do you know that heaven is fun? Do you know that Jesus is fun? Do you know that the joy of the Lord is our strength? And the joy of the Lord is a fruit of the Holy Ghost. The joy of the Lord is a fruit. In his presence, there's fullness of joy at his right hand. There are pleasures evermore. So being drunk on a new wine. Come on, somebody. You have one sip. You have two sips. You have three drinks. And now you are drunk in the new wine of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout hallelujah. Are you drinking in the Lord? Are you drinking in his presence? Are you feasting, whining, and dining at the banqueting table of Jesus? 
Shikaraba. Or do you only have enough to get by? You see, many people live from lack or the realm of just getting by. Just getting by. You have enough to just get by, paycheck to paycheck. You have enough to get by. But God wants you to have faith, to live from the realm of abundance and overflow. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen and give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Because there's faith today, my friends. Because I want to prophesy to you that I believe we're stepping into a season of great overflow. We're stepping into a season where so much breakthrough blessing, the presence of God, the power of God is gonna be poured out. There's gonna be so much harvest and such a winning of souls that churches cannot contain. Your regular two hour Sunday services cannot contain. And it, all of a sudden it's gonna overflow and extend into a revival where you're going to have a, a two, three day conference, but bam, suddenly it begins to overflow. It's a tipping point. You have faith to extend. And now a two, three day conference turns into three weeks. Come on, somebody. Am I talking to you yet? Because whatever you have, God will give you more. God will add on to you. Whatever you are a good steward of, God will give you more. So in some of your areas in your life, you may have, Overflow. Let me ask you, what what are you good at? What are you good at doing? So you may have overflow with relationships. You may have overflow with, uh, you know, finance. You may have overflow with revelation. But there are realms of overflow. God wants every realm. God wants every vat. God wants every vessel. Come on. God wants every vase. God wants every crack, nook, and cranny to be filled and to be overflowing in the name of Jesus. Your spiritual life should be overflowing. The joy of the Lord should be overflowing. Amen. But we must yield to the Lord. We must rest in a secret place. We must abide in the Holy Ghost. For he who abides under the shadow of the Most High, there will be a shadowing of his presence. There will be an overshadowing of the glory. Amen. So I believe we're in the realm of overflow. And I wanna read one more verse here. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. I wanna read one more verse here, praise God. I love this passage because the Bible says, the latter half of Job's life <laughs> was greater than his former. All of the suffering that Job endured, all of the suffering, the betrayal, all of the injustice that Job endured, the latter half of Job's life was greater. And here in Job 42, verse 15, the Bible says, in, in all that land, there were no women so beautiful as Job's daughters. Hear me now. And their father gave them an inheritance among their brothers. Job had such so, so much overflow and blessings that he even had an inheritance for his daughters. That was unheard of. It was only the men, the males, that received an inheritance. Of course, the firstborn would have the greatest amount of inheritance, the firstborn. But only the sons would typically have an inheritance from the father. But Job had so much blessing, come on, that even his daughters had inheritance. Are you hearing me today? If you are a woman of God, I want to say amen. Because there's so much that God has that he even will give an inheritance, a double portion to his daughters. I don't think you're hearing me today because this is a season where God's gonna raise up women. God's gonna raise up women of God to begin to prophesy, move into glory, to minister the word of the Lord. And let me tell you, some of these women are gonna be even more powerful and more dynamic than men of God. Some of these women of God are gonna truly have a double, triple portion, amen. And in those days, it was unheard of. Only the men would have an inheritance. But Job had so much blessing that he even gave inheritances, portions for his daughters. Are you hearing me? Some will say the realm of overflow. You and I were meant to live from the realm of overflow. We're meant to live from the realm of abundance. No lack, no worry, 
Not just enough to get by. I want to encourage you today. You, you, yes, you. You that are watching, if you're connecting and tagging in today, if you're tapping into the glory today with me, I want to say amen and I want to say that to me. I want to talk to you because I believe God wants you to have faith that you can live in the realm of overflow in every area of your life. Every single area of your life, you can live in the realm of overflow in your finances, your dreams fulfilled, your prayer life, your relationships. Come on, somebody. Every area of your life will go from lack to abundance. Every single area of your life will go from little to multiplication. Every single area of your life will begin to overflow so much so that you will have to lend. You will have to give. You will have to bless. You'll be so blessed that you will be a blessing. You'll be so blessed that you'll be the head, not to tell. You'll be the lender and the giver, not the taker, not the borrower. Amen. Someone say overflow. And that's my prayer for you today. Because I believe there is a realm of overflow that God has opened up in Jesus' name. In the spirit realm, there's a realm of overflow. People of God, I rejoice. Because even today in my life, so many open doors, so many invitations, new connections, divine appointments, it's effortless. It just comes to me. Amen, by the grace of God. And all the glory goes to Jesus. But that's what happens when you are living in the realm of overflow. Come on, somebody. It's effortless. You don't need to go knocking on doors. You don't need to convince somebody about who you are. You don't need to try to persuade somebody. It's easy. Bam, it happens quickly. Because that's the realm of overflow. You've tarried in that realm. You've sowed into that field. You have pressed into that lane. So now that lane, that field, that realm begins to bear fruit, return and retribution to you and for you. Amen. That's the realm of overflow. I believe, friends, God wants you to believe for overflow. Once again, Psalm 23, verse 5. You set a table before me and my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Somebody shout hallelujah. The blessings of God are going to be so poured out that you're going to be shocked. Your enemies are going to be shocked. God is going to just bless you. My goodness, the Lord knows how to show off. The Lord knows how to silence your enemies. Can I talk to you? God knows how to deal with your enemies. And your continual success and progression is what will silence your enemies. Once again, David had his tens of thousands and Saul had his thousands. Are you ready for that realm of overflow? Are you ready for the realm of abundance? If you're with me today, I want to say amen. Lift up your hands, pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Jesus, I thank you for every single person that is connected to the sound of my voice. God, I ask you for overflow, that their vets would overflow, their bank accounts would overflow, their closets, their bosoms, their prayer life, their belly, their mouth would overflow. God, I thank you that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. God, I thank you that this is a season of the bubbling up of the Nabi, where things are flowing, where the wellsprings of life are springing up out of you. Spring up, O oh wells. Spring up in Jesus' name. I declare now, there is a springing up anointing over your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. Every dam, every wall, every ceiling, every barrier, every limitation is being broken. Now in the name of Jesus. And I release faith for overflow. Listen, I want to prophesy now. Come on, lift up your hands. I want to prophesy over you. I declare and I decree from today till the end of this year. Get ready for overflow. Come on, get ready for overflow from today to the end of 2023. Get ready for the realm of overflow. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout hallelujah from today, May 11th to the end of this year, 2023. Get ready for overflow, mega increase. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the day. Come on, blessings are going to chase you down. People are going to chase you down, down the street, looking to bless you, putting wads of cash, stacks of cash, dollar bills in your hands, in your pocket. There's going to be blessings chasing you down. 
if you're with me today, I want you to say amen. Come on, give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Come on, I want you to pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Jabarabasete. That's right, Anthony Carabayo. From today till the end of this year, you will begin to feel the shift of overflow. Come on, everything you put your hands to will prosper and will be abundant. I break off the spirit of lack. I break off any warfare. Offer their name. Offer their ministry. Offer their business. I declare your business shall thrive. Your ministry shall thrive. Your name shall be reputable. Your name shall have a good reputation. For a good name and a good reputation is worth more than gold and silver. God, I thank you that from today until the end of this year of 2023, there's a realm of overflow. We say yes and amen. We have faith and we believe. And we step into that river. Come on. Do you want to be ankle deep? Do you want to be knee deep? Do you want to be waist deep? Or do you want to be overwhelmed and overflowing? Do you want to be drunken in the new wine and the drunken glory of the Holy Ghost? Do you want to be so overwhelmed and overpassed, surpassed with the power of God? In the name of Jesus, the fight of the Holy Ghost. I break off every doubt, every unbelief, every self-sabotaging spirit. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, preach, Dr. Ben. I break every limiting thought, every limiting lie, every manipulating spirit. And I declare that your vats shall overflow in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, overflow. Your vats shall overflow. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. Resetera Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I have a verse ruminating right now. Amen. I have a verse ruminating in my spirit right now. Glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. And here in Proverbs 3, 9, 10, the Lord says, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all of your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing. And your vats will brim over with new wine. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on. I need you to praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Yah for the next 10 seconds. Because this is a season where your brim will overflow with new wine. Not old wine. Not stinky wine. Not the bad wine. Not the cheap wine. But with the new wine of the intoxicating glory, the power, and the presence of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. This is a season where your barns will be filled to overflowing. Come on. You are going to go from the realm of filled to overflowing. Come on, somebody. I need you to praise the name of Jesus. Give us some hearts and likes right now. And I need you to clap your hands and shout out to God for the next 10 seconds because you are stepping into the realm of filled to overflow. Shaka rabata Come on, somebody. From filled to overflow. Fill to overflow. Ha <laughs> ha. Shaka rabababaratata. Jesus. Jesus. And you know that word in this verse, overflow. Otherwise, in some translations, says plenty. This word in Hebrew is parats. I want to say parats. And this word parats, my goodness. Jesus. It means breakthrough. Jesus. Someone say parats which is the same root word of Baal Perazim. It means to break through. There's so much power, so much glory that it breaks through. Baal Parats, Baal Parazim. There's so much from filled to overflow, from filled to plenty, filled to breakthrough. Some will say breakthrough. Shut that. Remember, whatever you're filled with will eventually flow out. Whatever you're filled with will break the breach, will break the barriers. And I prophesy now in the name of Jesus. Get ready for the filling of the Holy Ghost now. And get ready for the overflowing of the power of God. Lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you. Touch your people. Fill them with faith. And as a man of God, I declare and I decree that from today till the end of 2023. Come on, somebody. Clap your hands. From today to the end of 2023, you shall move in the realm of overflow. And your haters cannot stop it. The Jezebel spirit cannot stop it. No witch, no warlock can stop it. No Biden, no Kamala Harris, no devil can stop it. Amen. 
from today till the end of 2023, you shall move and live in the realm of overflow. From fill to over, you're about to parat. You're about to break through. Come on, I need you to clap your hands and give the Lord a mighty shout. Come on, give us some hearts and likes in this place. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are angels being dispersed. Angels being sent. Hit up also to Rabasha. From today to the end of 2023, you shall live from the realm of overflow. And as a man of God, I declare it over you. I release it over you. It is done, it is so, and it shall be done in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen and amen. Listen, if you agree with the man of God, I want to say hallelujah. If you agree with the man of God, I want to say amen. If you believe with this prophetic word, with this unction, this release, this pour from his servant, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, if you believe and you receive, I want you to say overflow. Come on, hashtag overflow from today till the end of 2023 you shall see overflow in your life surely my ears have heard of you but now my eyes have seen are you ready to see with your very own eyes you will see the glory of god are you ready to see all that you've prayed for all that you've petitioned for in the courts of heaven i declare now i see in the spirit God is releasing jurisdiction and a court order from heaven for your blessing, your breakthrough, and for your favor. Amen. Lord, bless these people now. I thank you. Overflow. Over in Jesus' name. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. Praise God. Praise God. If you receive today, say amen. And I want you to give some hearts and likes. And I want you to share this on your wall. Amen. And do consider being a subscriber here on Facebook or being a follower. We've almost reached the 200,000 uh, follow mark on Facebook, so praise God for that. Amen. But thank you, Margaret K. Good to see you, my Marshallese fam. Bam fam, good to see you, Melissa Shu. Such a blessing you are. Thank you both for being subscribers. Amen. Glory to God. Justice Bolala, amen. Come on, comment below. Avila Ana. Come on, Rebe Sete. Brenda K. Marilyn. Ladig and Amen. Travis Smith. Prophetess Chelsea, bless you. And Amande Karabrosata. Alicia Allen. Amen. Come on, overflow, my friends. So much faith and glory in this broadcast today. Zafrina Stephanie. Mariana Lono. Come on, somebody. Shara Baba, Roseanne Ku, Deborah Nell, Naomi, Vanessa De Jesus, Marie Hope. Thank you for being a subscriber. Madeline Jacobs, Maggie M. Garcia. Thank you, Lord. Julie Geyer, Geyer Jones, Dana Elizabeth. Thank you, thank you. Glory to God. And right now, I declare the same grace that's upon my life. Let it be bestowed upon you. The same grace of favor and breakthrough that I'm experiencing. Let it be bestowed upon you in Jesus' name. If you receive it, say amen. Listen, this weekend, I personally just got 70,000 of car loans wiped, washed away, just like that. Come on, I need you to snap your finger, just like that. The Lord will do it suddenly. He will move you out to move you in. He will get you out of false contracts, of low level contracts, low level. He will get you out. And even this weekend, the Lord got me out of a 70K car loan of two cars. And he blessed me with a new car. No down payment. Amen. Come on, somebody. Someone say amen. That's the realm of overflow. And I release that over your life in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say hallelujah. Anthony, good to see you, prophet. Michael, good to see you, Becky. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sherry, good to see you. Well, friends of God, good to see you, Cherry Minas. Friends of God, I'm going to be ministering tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday here in Lebanon, Palmyra, Pennsylvania. I love all of you. Do consider sharing this broadcast if you're blessed by it. As well, uh, give us a like and a follow. As well on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, we all have 
different content on every different platform. But support the man of God, support this ministry. And thank you for watching today. I hope you were blessed. And give us a like and a follow. Amen. Consider about joining our online group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip. It will change your life. Be a part of an online community of world changers. Amen. And I would love to mentor you. Go ahead and go to BenlamGlobal.com if you're interested in being a part of our online group mentorship. But I love you guys. I love you. Thanks for watching. Happy May. Amen. I miss you already. And hopefully I'll see you very soon. God bless. Shalom. And bang, bang.